March. March newsletter, Mark Diacono. Bit parky. It is, well, it's parky in the wind. And if you stand on this side of the tree out of the wind, it's nice. But yeah, that's what you get. It's March. It's cold, it's hot. It's hot, it's cold. I don't like these outdoor jobs. You, <laughs> you've been head gardener, you must be used to it. Yeah, this is the time. This is the time you start waking up, start, you want to get back outside and everyone's looking at you and thinking, I want your job after all. <laughs> <laughs> TV. TV gardener. <laughs> what kind of career is that, eh? It's all right. What's growing? Uh, well, we've got lots of salads on the go. We've got lots of seedlings going. So even if the weather's, you know, when, it's, when it was really cold, we were starting stuff off indoors so that when it starts to warm up a bit like now, we can get it planted out so there's no you know there's no great delay um but you know you can you can be sowing a lot of stuff direct now even yeah. if even if you're further up country you know we're down in dorset but you know into march you should be able to get in most of um you know most of the root veg maybe a lot of salad leaves all the beetroot all that stuff you should be able to sow direct you know straight in the garden um and, and you know the peas and beans which maybe you know you've if you've started some off indoors they can go out yeah. um but you're not late you're not late for very much you know even even the even the more marginal stuff, you know, the chilies and the, the peppers and all of that stuff, the Mediterranean stuff, you can start that off indoors up till, you know, the 20th or so of March. We'll still be all right. And I noticed that we're not conducting this little chat in the garden. We're quite away from the garden. We are, Steve. Yeah. Um, not a great deal. There's not, not a, great a great deal, deal going, going on. But that's okay, that's normal. That's really fine. Everyone, yeah. everyone panics like mad, you know, but we're, yeah. still, we're, still, we're sort of in the changeover. So we've still got lots of brassicas, lots of kales, lots of leafy greens coming out of the garden. We've got... Um, we've got all the all the structures up that are going to grow our peas and beans on. Yeah. Um, we've got the green manures that are going to be um, sown underneath those because we want to cover the ground. And we've we've been digging in the rest and getting everything ready. The spuds are going in. So you know we're 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 well on the way and there's there's plenty going on. So yeah, no no panic. So we can encourage people not to panic. And if they are slightly panicked or if they're relatively interested in starting their own garden, yeah. Um, we know somewhere where they can come and well, learn a little bit. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I think, I don't know if there's tickets, maybe there's a few left, but they're, they're, towards the end of March, we've got our Get Growing in Spring Day here, which is... Um, More of a celebration. It is, it? it is. It's a celebration of, of spring coming and, and it being that exciting time of year when everyone wants my job, you know, because um, you're outside and it's lovely and everything. Yeah. Um, and and it, it is, you're, you're not too late to do anything, you know. I think it's about the 23rd or 26th of March. It's that Saturday anyway. Yeah. Um, and And it's... It's a really good day because you've got lots of specialists here. You know, we've got Michael Michaud, who was in the first series. He's, you know, the king of chilies. Yep. We've got the lots Naga of, chili. The Naga chili. Oh man. Yep. That's um, that's proper hot. Um, we've got plenty of cookery demos as well. We've got lots of producers here. We've got lots of um, people who are selling seeds and plants and palaver and gear and all of that stuff. And you're never too late to do any of that. You know, either either in in terms of you know year 82 and you want to start growing your own veg, or too late in the year. You know, everyone panics and wants to get it all away quick well you can but you don't have to yeah well that's the relief that's a relief that nobody needs to panic yeah. um one thing that i'd like to mention is that later on in the in the month we've got another cookery school okay uh it would be quite nice if uh, some of the produce that we get growing in that time can end up in the kitchen what sort of things can we expect Towards the end of March? Yeah. Our loads of stuff. We'll, and we'll still have the back end of some of the, the wintry veg, so we should have some Jerusalem artichokes. Yeah. We'll have um, lots of oriental leaves. They keep growing all the that year round. That would be get blowing in spring, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> You're a bad man. <laughs> Sorry. Um, lots of oriental leaves, both that have been hanging on through the winter, but we've sown new for spring, so yep. we've got lots of salads coming through. Um, we grow lots of things as micro leaves, so again, um, you know, coriander, rocket, radish, all of that stuff. We've Lovely. got the first radish will be coming through. We're still a while away from anything, um, you know, like that's not leafy. You know, we're away from the early carrots and the first potatoes. You know, they won't be through until uh, maybe May when we'll have some that have grown in stacks in the polytunnel. Yeah. So maybe like a, a, a nice gratin or uh, knock up a nice tart. Yes. <laughs> Yes, indeed. Yeah, yeah. So we'll have plenty of produce going, you know, and it'll all be starting to look a bit more um, productive and a bit greener. You know, it's an exciting yeah. time though. I love it. You know, it's yeah. it's, it's a real. Um, no matter how many years you do it, you still don't quite believe spring's going to arrive. And are we going to get to see you with a spade in your hand, or have you still got media hands? I got I got people who do that stuff for me. People yeah. for you. I've got oh, I've right. got a team of exquisite boys. Have you? <laughs> nice. Right. Well, uh, I'm looking forward to it. I share enthusiasm. Can we go back inside now? Yeah, we can, yeah. Let's have a hot chocolate and a brandy. Come on.